Hey everybody, this is Wisconsin Greg. I'm here today. I just wanted to show you a little thing I put together. Uh, something I can have with me uh, just to make my everyday life a little bit easier. Um, in case I should need something. Um, some people call it an Altoids survival kit. I'm not going to call it that because I, I really wouldn't depend on this with my life for survival. Um, it may in certain cases be able to do that, but um, uh, in most cases this is way too small for a survival kit. But what I'm going to call it is just an Altoids tin everyday carry kit. Um, it's just basically an Altoids tin, uh, which is mint candy. Uh, it comes in a little tin box and uh, it's a good storage uh, thing, good area to keep things in. It keeps everything organized. Uh, and, and I'm going to keep this with me. Um, either in my vehicle or if I get out and I'm gonna go for a hike or something, I'm gonna throw it in my pocket. Um, if I'm in some strange area, different area that I'm not familiar with or you know or something, I'll throw it in my pocket. But um, I'll show you what's in here. Um, there's lots of different things that could be in here. Uh, it's all gonna depend on your location, where you live, what you might want to put in here. So what I have in mind might not be what you, you're going to want in yours. So you're going to have to kind of make up your own mind. Uh, it's going to all depend on where you live, um, what type of work you do, uh, where, where you're at most of the time. Uh, if you're in the city, if you're in the country, uh, you're just going to have to make up the decisions on your own. Um, and what you want to put in there, you know, just going to have to search on the internet and find out what will work for you. Uh, they don't have much room in these little things, so you gotta You ain't gonna get a whole lot in here, but you can get the main necessities that you that'll help you out and make your everyday life easier so uh, I want to thank a friend of mine at work for giving me these Altoid tins He he's he likes these candies and I asked him one day if I could have some his name is Joe drives a fork truck at work and uh, he saved me some for these and uh, that's uh, another reason I'm making this video. So I want to thank Joe for giving me these. I really appreciate it and they're going to come in handy I hope. And another reason I'm making this video is because of another guy at work. Uh, his name is Jason. Uh, we were walking out of work the other day and he asked me if I had a cigarette lighter. He wanted to light up a cigarette. And uh, I uh, unfortunately had to say no, I don't have one. I don't, I don't smoke. Uh, and I felt kind of embarrassed because I always consider myself uh, pretty prepared with everything. I didn't have one in my truck. I didn't have one with me. Um, and that's that leads me to another video that I'll be making in the future. Not sure exactly when yet. Is I'm going to be making a roadside emergency kit um, that I'll keep in my vehicle. And it'll also double up with some of the stuff that's in here. So... Um, Hopefully the next time he asks me if I need a cigarette lighter or if he wants a, needs a cigarette lighter or a match or something, I can help him out. Um, not that I'm promoting smoking or anything, but I uh, just kind of like to be prepared for anything. Um, so that's another reason I'm doing this. I felt kind of embarrassed and I want to get more prepared. I've been planning on building these for a long time, uh, probably two, three years, and I just keep putting it off, putting it off. I, always kept buying stuff a little bit at a time here and there and keeping it and, uh, but never got together never got together and it ain't doing no good sitting in my shelf upstairs uh, so I finally decided to put one together today um, things will probably change uh, I might take certain things out and when I find out I'm not using them and putting other things in that I might think I might need uh, but at least I got started so if you might want to leave comments in my comment box um, if you think there's something that I'm lacking and something that I don't need that I should take out, I'd appreciate it. Uh, my ears are wide open. And I'm always always willing to learn. Uh, so I'll bring you in closer and show you what I got started in here. Uh, and give you an idea and maybe you guys can start one too. So I'll bring you in closer and we'll take a look. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, give you the dimensions of this. Um, it's about three and three quarters by roughly uh, just 
just a little bit less than two and a half. And the thickness is, let's see, just a little bit less than one, a little over three, three quarters of an inch. So it's not very big. And the first thing I have here is a rubber band around here. Uh, kind of keeps it so if you got it on a table it won't slide off and it also keeps it closed and won't that stuff won't fall out of it so take that off the rubber band could be used to secure stuff or also as a fire starter um, here looks like a mouse got in here the, this is dryer lint this is used for, uh, to start fires it works very well so don't take up much room and keeps everything from rattling I also have a piece of paper in here, which I'm gonna I'm gonna put um, phone numbers on here, um, and then also can be torn off some of it for to use as a fire starter. Also, and on the back of here, I got taped with uh, electrical tape on the back. I got two needles and some thread. So if you're on your way to an interview or something important, a, need, or a button pops off, you can fix it while you're in your car or something like that uh, next thing I have here is some matches um, that's kind of a backup I also have a thick mini lighter here that would be my primary one um, and also you could use this tape here also um, if you had, let's like, say, a short wire in your car and you needed to tape it off from arcing or something, you could pull that tape off and use that. So, the next thing I have is a, a Leatherman Micra. And then this little thing has a lot of stuff on it. It's got a scissors on the end. If you need to cut, cut something off, let's say you bought a... CD or something and you can't get it open in your vehicle you use the scissors and there's also a knife in here uh, Make your everyday life easier um, There's also many other things. There's a bottle opener little little flathead screwdriver There's a tweezers and a file and another little flathead screwdriver So just in this one tool there's your knife. Got like a nail scraper. And another flathead screwdriver or could be used as like a ch little chisel. Um, it's also got measurements on here so you could use it to measure something small. So that's a very handy tool. Next thing I got, which would go along with the paper, is a little micro pen. It's made by True Utility. Pull pull the cap off, and you got yourself a little pen. So that's a handy little thing. Next thing is is a can opener. I can't remember what the number of this one is. I think it's, I can't remember. I think they call it a P38 or something like that. I don't remember. But it's a small, the smaller one, a can opener, like they had years ago. I don't know if they still use them in the Army or not, but they had them years ago in the Army. <clears throat> Next thing I have in my kit is a little flashlight. Very, very tiny, but it's uh, good enough to, it'll get you through if you got like in a building and the lights went out or something it would get you so you could find your way out or if you needed it to start a fire in the middle of the night you need a little light a guidance uh, the next thing I have is a part of a glue stick you can heat that up with a match or the lighter and if you needed to glue something you could rub a little bit of this on there and glue something so that would be handy have a whistle in case of an emergency um, I got stranded and fell down and broke and broke my ankle and couldn't get home and if people come looking for me I could blow this whistle and maybe, maybe they could hear it from a distance and come and find me. Uh, I also have a fingernail clipper here. 
Um, my nails, I seem to always need them. I'm, I hate, I cannot stand having a nail that's like snagging on stuff. So that's a handy thing to have with you. And I have some, I think they call it juke twine, but it's soaked in beeswax. Uh, you can also use this to extend the fuel of your lighter. Um, you light that and then you can use, it'll keep burning. So you can use it to get a fire started and you wouldn't, you could preserve the fuel in your lighter. You can also use it to tie up stuff. Um, let's see here. Next thing I have is just a card that wasn't used anymore and I wrapped some duct tape around it. Uh, there's about 20 inches of duct tape on here. Uh, you can use duct tape for hundreds of different things. Uh, next thing I have here is a second way to light fire. So I actually got three ways to light fire. I got the matches, the lighter, and if there's sun I can use this. It's a magnifying glass or a Fresno lens they call them. Uh, it's got a protective coating uh, cover on it so it don't get scratched. Uh, it's also, it also can be used as a magnifying glass if I need to use it to like say thread the needle or something like that um, or needs to read something real fine print. Uh, so I got that with me. Uh, next thing I have is a couple of alcohol prep wipes so in case I cut myself I can disinfect them. This wipe, wipe the area to keep it from getting infected. Um, these also can be used to start a fire. So they got more than one use. Um, have some band-aids in here in case I cut myself or something uh, with a knife or out in the field with a branch or something cut me. So I have like a couple big ones and one small one. I have uh, two toothpicks in here. Once in a while you get something in your tooth that just drives you crazy. It's nice to have a toothpick with you. Uh, another thing I have is like I have four nails. I have two bigger ones and two smaller ones which could be used for many different things in emergency. Um, then the tin itself could also be used. Um, you could use it, you could actually polish this up or polish the bottom up to make a more of a mirror finish on it for a reflective surface so you could use it as a signaling mirror sig signaling mirror um, and then you can also use the tin if you had a little bit of water and you just wanted to boil a little bit just so you had a little something to drink so it wouldn't make you sick uh, so it's always good to boil your water sources first before you drink them it's not a whole lot but it'd be enough to keep you alive hopefully and that's about it So, let me move this camera here a little bit and you can see everything that's been in there. Quite a bit of stuff. Got the band-aids, the Fresno lens, alcohol wipes, duct tape. Got a, actually the car that the duct tape's on could be used as a, a scraper if you needed it for a windshield or something. If you've got frost on it and you didn't have a windshield wiper or a scraper with you. Got some nails. Um, some twine that's been soaked in beeswax for tying stuff up or use it to extend the li your lighter so you're not wasting your fuel. Uh, whistle, a couple toothpicks, a uh, cigarette lighter, a um, book of matches, a little part of a glue stick, a, pe a pen a pen to write notes on here. Um, I'm also going to, on this paper, I don't know if I mentioned it, put uh, emergency contact numbers uh, like for the sheriff's department, the city police, uh, um, my work phone number, um, my probably my brother's phone number in case of an emergency. Um, got the um, dryer lint to, to help start a fire and also a rubber band which could be used to start a fire or to hold stuff together. So quite a bit of stuff in this little kit. So. hopefully this will give you guys a little bit of a idea and hopefully you guys can go out and make one yourself 
Well, that's the end of this video, and I want to thank you all again for watching us. I really, really appreciate it. I've said this many, many times. Uh, you guys are the best. I got the best subscribers of all. Um, I'm so happy with all you guys. You guys just inspire me to do more and more. Uh, so thanks again. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll catch you all on the next one. Thank you.